Hi guys, it's Corrine, and I quickly wanted to share with you the paper that I use that I always have in my stash. This is from Walmart, and this is why I love it. It's because it's always readily available. I don't have to order online. Um, the nearest craft store to me is about 40 minutes away, so I always want to be stocked up on the basics of black and white paper and chipboard. So now they're selling Nina. This is the bright white and it's cardstock. This is, it, you'll find this in the copy section at Walmart where they sell copy paper. This is 65 pounds. It comes with 80 sheets and I think that it's about four to five dollars. So it really lasts a long time. They also sell the Nino Astro Brights and this you get 50 sheets it's three dollars and 97 cents sorry about the glare and it as well as 65 pounds so I use this as the base of all my mini albums I absolutely love it because if you use a heavier weight which you can do but you'll tend to get more cracking things like that so I like 65 pound for mini albums that's why I get the 65 pound in the bright white of Nina and the Astro Brights from Nina. Here is what they look like. This first page on here looks a little gray. That's just the cover paper. This is actually the color of it. So it's a beautiful solid black. And then this paper here, this is not the Nina. I also use another paper from, I don't have the um, cover of what it looks like, so I'll insert a photo here. So that paper I used most of all, and that I have also used for album pages, but I prefer the 65 pound weight for album pages, being that it's not as thick. It folds beautifully. This here is 110 pounds, and um, it's the Georgia Pacific brand, and you get like, well, my sister bought me a huge stack. I think it had... 300 papers in it for six or seven dollars at Sam's Club. So this is what I use for everything. I use this to cut out die cuts. Look how intricate that is and it cuts out beautifully. Again this is 110 pound. I also use it for a lot of printing cuts with my Cameo. So I've printed on this and it cuts it out again beautifully. All, all of these are from the Simple Stories line. And look how gorgeous those look. So again, that's the Georgia Pacific, but it also works great with the Nina White. And I do also want to share with you very quickly, when you score it, how beautifully it scores. Now this is 110 pounds, so I go over that usually about three times because it is thicker but this works just as well I just don't have a sample out right now to show you but when you when you score it you'll get that bump there you want to fold along that bump and that will help so you don't get any cracking so look how beautiful that is no cracking it's very smooth same with this just a beautiful fold. So those are my must-haves in my craft room along with the Georgia Pacific. I use that mostly. The only thing I reserve this for is mini albums because like I said I don't want it too thick otherwise it makes the mini album too thick and harder to work with as well. The other thing I want to share with you is the chipboard that I use. This large 12 by 12 pack is by graphics. I'll put links for these in the description box below as well. This is a 25 pack of 12 by 12 and this I just got on Amazon. I think I paid five dollars. Sometimes you'll find it cheaper to buy the eight and a half by eleven because very rarely do I ever use 12 by 12. I always cut this down but it was actually cheaper to buy 12 by 12. I paid five dollars and if you have Prime it's on free shipping and here is the chipboard here. It's a medium weight chipboard so I'm trying to bend it here. You can't even bend it. It's it's very sturdy, very thick. So I just thought I'd quickly share some of my favorites with you today and I will link all of these in the description box if I can find links for them on the Walmart site. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for stopping by.